So the process of revising the social principles has been this amazing journey for over 10 years now. It started in the 2012 General Conference, uh, and it's involved thousands of United Methodists from all across the connection. And I would divide it into two different phases. The first was sort of the discovery phase. So in 2012, the General Conference, uh, the General Conference asked church and society to take a look at revising the social principles to see whether they could be um, more succinct and more theologically grounded. And so in that process, we started engaging United Methodists from across the connection. We had listening sessions in Europe, in the Philippines, in Africa, in the United States. And we asked the, the folks gathered the same series of questions and we just sat back and listened. And what we learned in that process was that there was a deep appreciation for the social principles as a, a resource for ministry, that there was a need to make sure that those social principles spoke to the geographic context where there are United Methodist present, and that there was a need to be more precise and more clear in the theological grounding of our social statements. So we brought that back to the 2016 General Conference, and then that launched our, disc our rewrite phase, our revision phase. In the revision phase, General Conference asked us to uh, give a priority to revising the social principles in 2016. And we set about with a writing team, representative from United Methodist, again, from Africa, from Europe, from the Philippines and the United States, about 52 folks, uh, practitioners and scholars, clergy and lay, uh, diverse lived experience, diverse geographic uh, representation, and they came together to take the, the information we gleaned from those listening sessions and set about to actually rewrite the social principles, a wholesale revision. Um, they presented that in 2018 to our board. We then published that uh, for the global audience in the languages of the General Conference. Uh, did an online survey. We had over 2,500 respondents in the online survey, as well as a series of uh, convenings, public conversations, where another 2,100 United Methodists participated from across the global connection. Um, they reflected back some questions, some suggestions to how we might uh, perfect that revision. Uh, so the writing team took all of those, synthesized that, uh, brought it into the product which is now in the Daily Christian Advocate. They brought it to our board for adoption and we've submitted it to the General Conference. So this has been just an amazing journey involving so many voices um, in a way that, that we believe really reflects who we are as United Methodists today and gives us a strong social statement for who we are to be as we move forward out of General Conference.